And because I'm recording this right before Halloween, I got a bunch of stuff to wear. So. <laughs> no, I'm gonna... That's exciting. <sighs> Feels good to record these. <laughs> Today's lesson, lesson of this day, is love. The reason I, I represented this one is the tree of life. What the tree of life represents to me, or I could be wrong about this, and I've been wrong about many things in my life, but what I've come to understand is the ultimate path is the life, is the life path of love. It's, it's learning self-love, it's learning maternal love, it's learning love for others, but it's also learn about learning to receive love from others. It's also about learning to receive love from your child, knowing that when you receive love from others, it's actually self-love. Each person, depending on your situation that you, you experienced growing up, or what you were shown as a child, or as a person in general, what is love to you? The essence of this painting is saying, I am, I am willing to come from a higher form of love, which is love for all equally, without question, unconditionally. Love is something that's beyond repair, beyond just the mere thought process that comes with each person. Knowing that love can take many forms, but know that you are made of love. That is your natural state. Know that when you are not physical, that is that pure state that you're returning to. To quote one of my favorite <laughs> YouTube, my, one of my favorite YouTubers, Jordan from Spirit Science or Spirit Patch or any of that. <laughs> Unconditional love is what you come from. What you come here to do is learn all the other different states of love, all the other different paths that come with love. No, they're rarely ever going to be easy. The way that I look at this is you will go through a whole lifetime of pure pain and suffering. If you don't understand that the way most people approach things is they try to show love to everyone. It may come down to your your way of love may not always be the same way someone else shows it. Um, showing love can come in the form of doing things for others. Cooking them something, making them something. Uh, just doing your everyday chores saying I love you along the way. Each of these acts is people's way of saying I love you. That's another way. But it also can be in a mere glance to be able to actually look at another person truly and say I love you without ever saying a word. Because when you hold that vibration, you hold that experience that you are loved, you are loved. The way that you really look at each situation will change. When you know that each person does whatever they feel best or they know to be loved. No one ever tries, to, unless someone really is lost in their ego, who they, in that, that personality that they are. And there's so much pain and suffering that comes along with it. No one truly ever goes out in any case to try to hurt someone unless they are so far gone into their ego, so far gone into their pain that they don't, they don't see that what they're doing, yes, it may be love for them, but they may not know that the love they are showing could be warped or skewed or, or any of it. Your pain would be lessened by knowing that each person is just reaching out for love in whatever form they can find it. 
oftentimes when people don't always always know that they're <laughs> the form of love that they have is skewed they'll oftentimes they'll revert back to this whatever they viewed as a child as their parent loving them they will they will often return back to that it takes a lot of introspection and knowing that the the thing you're learning that day is it's always going to be forms of love every lesson is in a lesson of love but knowing that these things can actually skew your vision skew who you are and allow you not to necessarily find that true essence find that true state of love find the true way of being Your, your joy, your essence of who you are, can never be destroyed by anything outside of you. It's that peace that you find in your center when you truly find what is love for you and why do you want to experience love and how you choose to express love. I could be sounding a little old out there when I say this, but, but in my case, and in my case, I should say. I view love as the essence of who we all are. I see the world as a whole. And to experience it as a whole, you must, I find approaching each situation knowing that I'm gonna love the person in that situation no matter what they do. And I want to show that person they are loved, no matter what they do. <laughs> and just know that all moments, you are loved so much by all that is, they are giving you exactly what you want. It makes no difference whether you call it negative or positive or any of that. But it's seeing the higher essence of love for everyone unconditionally, without question, in every situation, everything you approach life with. Because the greatest power, because it is right there with you, it's at all times. You know it's right there with you at all times. It will allow you to know what you're doing is worthwhile. And that is the essence of this movie. It's love. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, leave a comment. Um, have a good day. Talk to you soon.